What's up everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are now starting off the new episode, uh, Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4, Amid the Ruins. Now at the back end of the last episode, everything went to shit. Um, Carlos got shot in the neck from memory, Sarah had a bit of a brain fart and ran off. Um, Kenny's girlfriend got bitten on the hand and Clementine chopped it off, so let's get back into it. So hopefully today I should be able to get an episode, uh, or starting off of the episode 4 of this. I'm going to be doing another episode of Game of Thrones, and I've got a video for Destiny to render, so I'm going to be um, incredibly busy. Anyways, let's get on with it. Here we go. Exciting. God, I'm enjoying this week off. It's nice. It's been good to be able to just sort of stream stuff and do little bits and pieces and sort of give this a little bit more attention and time. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? Technically, I didn't need to give you the I recap. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Fucker. No! No! Stop me! Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. <coughs> Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Right, let's see where it picks up. Come. Ah! That's where I chopped her arm off. It's kind of gotten a lot darker as it's gone through. Everybody's getting shot. Kenny. I don't know why me pressing Q harder makes me think he's going to work better. It's ridiculous. Shouting out, they'll recognize that I'm not here. Stop! Thank God! I can't find anybody. 
body. I know. What do we do? Locals with me, but we can't stay here with them. They need to keep moving. Oh shit, that's not good. We can watch each other's back. I'll stick with you. Thank you. We can go your back to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? She's a boss, that woman. Absolute boss. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. <laughs> You need to keep slow, Rebecca. You need to chill. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. A what? what? We'll see. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side. I need you to get her attention. Ooh. This is all very exciting. Not gonna bite anybody now, are you? Follow me. She just cut a jaw off. Close. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. That's really similar to what Michonne did in that other series when she in the actual TV series where she just turns up. She had two of them on um, like leashes, but she had them without. Um, she'd cut the jaws off, so she basically they walked. She walked with them, so it looked like they were walking in a group. From memory, that was. Uh, She's proper badass, that woman. Oh, it's exciting. Episode 4. Amid the ruins. I like the way that it's kind of gotten... It's very similar to the TV series where it's gotten progressively darker as it's kind of gone through. So... You just get that sense of desperation, and then every now and then there's just little sprinkles of hope and little sprinkles of it could be alright. So let's crack on with this. Jesus, it's fucking hot in this room again. Is everything alright? No, I'm not alright. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out Luke, Sarah, Kimmy. God. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. That's right. She's got the spawn of Satan inside her. Carver's baby. That we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have. I don't know. Jane saved us. 
I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! She's not wrong. We panicked, we were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... <sighs> she is totally going into labor. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Rebecca, are you going to be okay? I don't think so. I think she's shitting it that Carver's baby's inside there. I'm pretty sure she's going into labor. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Whoa! What? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? We can't just abandon it. Hey, whoa! I never said you should abandon it. I just mean that sometimes you can't protect everyone you'd want to. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey! Oh, oh, I've oh, seen oh, it before. Oh, oh. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't. You don't have the right. Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Oh, damn it. <sighs> it's not what we need people to be falling out. Everybody needs to just calm down and work out the best way to deal with this scenario. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. What up, bunny? It had been so long. I forget that guy's name. Make it. Well, besides, how's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. Come on, Clem. Let's go talk to him. Go do your thing. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... He's not thinking straight. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Yeah. I mean, I said it as soon as I saw it. Chop her arm off. It was the only way to save it. Stop the infection from spreading, but it was too Sorry, late. God. Wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Kenny, put the gun down. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Kenny needs Do you to think Kenny's Kenny, okay? Chill out. It's all I hear from anyone anymore. And you still need to chill out. Uh, I'm just worried about worried, you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Oh, fuck. Give me the opportunity to explain. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I did what I thought was right. It was all I could do. All you could do? Because of you, Sarita is dead. No. And you're telling me you did all you could do. Dude was chewing their ass. Because you're a little girl, you could just get people killed and no one will care. That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works. I 
for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. Fuck's sake. I'm going crazy just sitting here. Did exactly the same thing when his um, when his wife and son it's died. Still early. Clem, how'd it go? Well, shit. Did you not see? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Mike, that's his name, Things Mike. It's difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Oh! Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. <laughs> That's right! If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way or the other. Thank right. you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't yeah. think I'd need to. I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Yeah, Kenny might flip out big time. There's a war memorial. Right. Right, I'll leave it there for that one guys. Look, Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one. I was just looking for